Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another episode, hope you're doing great, I have done my things and now it is time to play. Um, in the previous episode, not much happened to be honest, uh, but we did get the, the most important thing is we got the, the bell that allows us to buy uh, smithing stone 2 and 3. Now I basically just spent all the smithing, stone that, smithing stones that I've gotten naturally and I got managed to get these two daggers up to tel, uh, 12 and this one twin blade from twelve from 11 to 12. Uh, this other stuff, these other twin blades, uh, the other daggers, the talons, the bows, I have not gotten up there. I did a little bit of bird farm. And uh, that plus buying 70 of the level 3 and 70 of the level 4 put me right back down to 21. I was 22 when I started, now I'm 21. So, yeah, not easy to upgrade if you don't have the bell stuff. Uh, and definitely without uh, some cheesy bird farm. Uh, but we have the bell, so. Uh, anyways, I was thinking. First of all, if anyone have a, has an explanation to why that one cave has an Iron Maiden randomly at the bottom, that would be a nice, uh, nice uh, favor. I know nothing is random in this game, so if the devs put it there, they put it there for a reason, for a lore reason. Uh, another thing I noticed in that fight with the two weirdos, I, I ran out of FP pretty fast. And that's because I'm kind of using these very aggressively. So I was kind of thinking if there... Maybe I should actually move to using items to cause those two status effects. Now I do have the bombs here. Uh, in my inventory. Or the poison pot, sorry. But I was thinking maybe there's a world where I start using... Poison darts to cause the uh, the poison, but I think I think the poison strength differs quite a bit. Actually. Let me, let me read up on this. Actually, now that I think about it, let me read up on this. Uh, let me see what the difference in strength is, the power, the damage, that is, between <clears throat> poison uh, applied by, say, a poison bomb, a dart, a cloud, or the ash of war. Uh, if it's not too much of a difference, I might just remove this from the bar and apply it with knives instead um, if I'm gonna start having more items throwables I need to remove stuff from the bar to make my bar a bit cleaner uh, so it's easier to cycle through the downside of not having key binding for items so, yeah anyways we did uh, get some uh, new stuff we got a stabby sword didn't we there we go sword of Saint Trina or ST, I'm guessing that's it. Because the sleep build up, actually. Oh. Mist of slumber. <clears throat> Silver sword carried by clerics of Centrina inflicts sleep ailment upon foes. Centrina is an enigmatic figure. Some say she's a comely young girl. Others are sure he's a boy. The only certainty is that their appearance was as sudden as their disappearance. Unique skill, Mist of slumber. Release a faint purple mist that spreads across the wide frontwards area. This mist inflicts the sleep ailment upon upon foes. <clears throat> oh, it's not a stabby sword. It's a regular short sword or sh regular short <laughs> sword.
That wasn't very good. <clears throat> and it also applies... Ah, still doing the jumpy stuff. Alright, come over here, sir. How much is this? That's a huge chunk. But that is a pretty cool... I'm not against that. That is pretty tricky. That is... Uh... I like this. A lot, actually. Can we do anything with this? Probably not, right? Yeah. I like it. If if I actually start using items to cause um, poison and maybe rot, even maybe I'll uh, move to um, I sleep. That would be too bad. How uh, how effective is that against bosses? Probably not very, to be honest. Anyways, <clears throat> sorry about my throat. I always get like these fake influenza symptoms when I have leg day. I don't know why. It's really annoying, but it is what it is. Um, I think I got one of these as a reward recently. I don't remember. I think it was this one, actually. Sweep area before castle is stream of fire. Okay, it's a, it's a pyromancer script. However, we also got this. <clears throat> One second. <laughs> Sorry, I had to cough. Well, it sounds like I'm sick. I'm not actually sick. I just said leg. Leg and some other stuff. Leg and shoulder. Um, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Raise our mental loft and prayer and slam it into the ground. The inspired blow restores HP to the self and nearby allies if it successfully hits. Usable the next. We're not even gonna bother with this. <laughs> Alright. Um, I checked the map. Straight away. There is nothing here. We'll just do a quick sweep. To make sure we are correct. I cheated and I checked the map. And it is uh, what it is. Um, which direction? That's the wrong direction. We already went into the cave, so we know that there is nothing but item. Stupid bird. We already killed the thing up there. Probably already been over there. Oh, I can't check the map. Yeah, there we've been, I remember that little bit. Alright, so there is nothing here. And not surprised, but what? Okay, must have been something easy. Oh shit! Oh, we're, we're live. Oh, what? There's items? Okay. Uh, here there is a cave, right? No? I'm pretty sure we've dealt with this before. But I see that thing. Is this something I missed? Or 
Or does that mean that I already followed it? I think it means I already followed it. So I, uh, I, I seem to. Re I, I kinda remember ish. Uh, yeah, anyways. I know, I know where the cave is. It is here. It's right about here somewhere. So let's just. Uh, let's just go there. And I kinda know what's in there. I don't know the full full layout of everything that is in there, but I know that there is a an item that increases the gold gain. Because that's the that was the context of the advice to help me farm the bird faster. Which I appreciate, because that is a very boring menial task that really does nothing in terms of anything. Um, it changes nothing. It just makes the grind easier. Uh, which I didn't have time to do today, or else I would have upgraded uh, uh, more things. I'll have to do that a little bit tomorrow, if I have time. Anyways, it should be here. I'm not sure if I can get there from here, actually. Accidental pro dodge. I just knew that there was a. Isn't this just Celia? Isn't this where we came down from the... Yeah, with all these uh, thingies, and then there's something here, I believe. Correct. is up here somewhere. Danger ahead. I would disagree. So, but then what is this? Did I do this? Now I'm a bit curious. Oh, I think I go. But I need that item, but <laughs> I'll take it. There is... Hmm. Interesting. So there is a mountain here. And there is a way to be on top of this mountain. But how? How do I get on top? I mean, it's not Celia. The Celia is on this level of the swamp. Maybe we can try. <coughs> is it up where the dragon is? Do I have to like run all the way from there? Yeah, I mean this clearly isn't high. Um, yeah, maybe it's straight up up here then. Alright, uh, let's try. It's gonna be a bit of a run. With the horse. And that is... Uh, that building is actually across to the other side, right? It's a beast thing. 
Uh, I kind of didn't come here, did I? Well, I, I kind of did, kind of didn't. This is—I I remember the dragons down here. Ah, this is where I said I would explore next time, and then I didn't. My God, this game—it's so easy to just. Lose track. Did you just see an item over here? Right, let's uh, get one of the one of the lizards over here. Hello, dragons. Please come with me. Not gonna lie, when the dragon is roaring, they look very scary. I mean, I'm not scared, but they do look intimidating. They do did a really good job uh, designing their uh, their face, actually. Let me see if I can catch it. Yeah. Okay, could have sped it up a little bit though. <laughs> I mean, the whole design of the dragon is pretty cool. I mean, if I, if I had an accurate, like, metal sculpture of this, I would not be sad. <laughs> it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. But in particular, in particular the face, the jaw, when it's uh, roaring, looks uh, very intimidating. Well, well done. I was looking, looking a little bit dumb. <laughs> Can I get the roar from you, sir? Right. I'm not gonna stay to fight this, because I know the tail slaps me in the face for 100% of my life, so <laughs> we're gonna have to come back to this later. I remember seeing this actually. Uh, yeah, I just forgot about it. Like many other things, <laughs> I've probably forgotten. Where is the. Uh... Where is the price we have to pay? There is no uh, imp key. Hmm. Okay, so not an imp key situation. I, I need those. <laughs> Oh, 
I wonder if these have any impact on the power level of the creature inside. Last one. Let's see if this makes a difference. May I enter? <clears throat> I may not. Then perhaps this is a story related thing then. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that the things that I can't enter, I'm gonna assume it's story related. Holy shit, my voice is getting real bad. One second. <laughs> Not good. Anyways, there should be a cave here somewhere. It should be here, actually. Ish. Wait, is it down there? Might actually just be. Let me do a quick swoop up here. That's a dragon. Not worth. Yeah, and I only got one. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, it's not here. And getting here is a bit of a hassle, too. Alright, let's, um... Let's fight the bear. And by fight it, I mean spawn the Mimic. <laughs> That seems completely reasonable. <clears throat> and this thing that I, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's on top of this. Is that even a thing? Oh, sure. There's projectiles as well.
Is it up here? No, it uh... Oh, then, uh, then it probably isn't here then. Alright, I'm just gonna have to find it by myself, I think. Uh, and I'll also extend this episode, because this is obviously not content. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna find it by myself. Um, that means we'll go do something else in the meanwhile. Um, what will I do? Oh, we do have one cave that we... Uh, I, mean, I mean, we have a lot of stuff to do here. We do have this uh, dumb cave over here, so let's do it. <clears throat> let's get this out of the way. Let's be real, these aren't exactly the most fun... ...most fun things that you can do. Let's see if we can just speed through this. Up. Too much damage, I think, to be fighting them 2v1. Probably. At least you know there's no invisible wall. So stab him right in the throat. Responsible assassin. Actually, the damage output. Seems like it's reasonably easy to kill these guys. Using the perfume bottles is a. Uh... I know the acid one reduces armor. I think. I'm not in it. totally against that idea. I think it's pretty cool, to be honest. So, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Oh, shit. I'm not. Right, um... Uh, let's just 
fight through this. Have enough uh, heal over time to fix that just fine. Living jar shard. All right. We will move on with our lives. <coughs> Sorry. Very unprofessional. Give me a break, man. Another one. Interesting. I will fall for this trap. I'll launch a trap. Living Jar Shard. Perfume bottle, nice. Living Jar Shard. What is that used for? I saw a guy down there. Kill the dude first. Come on. Oh, this is getting close. God, man! Do I have uh, something to deal with the poison? Like, something to give me a lot of resistance to poison? <clears throat> Immunity, right? Immunity is poison. Uh, how do I check? G explanation, immunity... Poison and rot, right? So you know what? Um, this I need, but we, this we don't need. Immunity. There we go. Let's deal with this nonsense. Let's be careful. So <sighs> Alright. Interesting. This seems like an absolute pile of poop place to fight. Ugh, they can't be serious. This can't be real. Oh wait, I just remembered a comment about a cave and a path down that I missed. I need to go back and check which... Uh... Yeah, I need to go back and check which uh... cave that was. Don't worry, if you, if you left that comment, I... I deserve that. And also there was no reason for me to summon the uh, the help there, because that's a new fight. So actually I'm fine with that happening.
We will fight it legit. Might be a bit challenging though. Please don't kill me. I was very close. that let's go I'm over level, so it's fine. <laughs> Alright, your turn, plant. Now, however, I <laughs> need to deal with this bastard outside. What is this? Ugh. How? Uh, Jesus, okay. I mean, you can't fight it on that branch, that's dumb. That, that's just never gonna happen. I suppose we shoot it then? Golden bow and we have oh, we fire great arrows, right? That's what we yeah, it's great arrows right. Do we have good great arrows? No. Do we have good... Uh... No. But we do have some uh, rot built up. So let's do that. these. <clears throat> we'll just take some Lord Sworn.
I think this is going well. In a bit of a uh, who can throw garbage at each other competition. I seem to be winning. I... The game is not the only one that can cheese. So too I can do. Cheese I will do. Surprised if there was a hidden path here somewhere, but there isn't. Very odd. This is also some story nonsense. To be fair, I don't really know if all of this stuff is story nonsense, if I... No horse ahead, therefore tunnel required ahead. Interesting. So are they implying that there is another entrance here, maybe? Let's remember this. Maybe there is. I was actually thinking it. Hmm. Maybe it's like a smuggler's thing. Either way, we can't do anything about this now. Um, let's just walk up to the gate and see what happens. And then we'll clear out the area around in the Altus Plateau once and for all. And then move over to the Mount Gelmir area. I probably won't enter the city quite yet. But just for out of curiosity, I just want to see what happens up here. Something's gonna come down at us. Okay, 